Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is a video tutorial on how to use the Hyro Stacks Wallet extension for Google Chrome. This channel, we do a lot of different things, but one thing we do is we provide tutorials. I'm gonna have a whole playlist of tutorials for different apps and things involving the Stacks ecosystem, so make sure you subscribe, like, and let's jump right into it. I know that these, um, you know, digital asset tools can be kind of intimidating and scary to use. So I want to give you guys a full breakdown, full tutorial on how to use it, exactly what you're going to see um, and kind of walk you through it. First thing you want to go to, first thing you're going to want to do is just go to Google, um, go ahead and just, you know, type in stacks, um, wallet, extension, something along those lines. You'll have a couple of different options. Um, I already had it pulled up, but I recommend you go to wallet.hyro.so and we'll just click over here, slash wallet slash install dash web. You could see this is the sort of the, the website provided to you by Hyro. Um, Hyro is the company that does a lot of the dev tooling for the Stacks blockchain. So you just wanna be very careful with everything you do in the digital asset industry. Make sure that you're not using uh, you know the wrong website, you're not downloading the wrong software because there are a lot of scammers, people who are trying to steal your assets. Um, so yes, this, this app is gonna let you connect to apps, buy STX, mint and purchase NFTs, secure your assets with Ledger. We're not gonna be doing the Ledger part today. Maybe in another video, video I'll have that. We're just going to be setting up the extension. Um, this is like a hot wallet, right? So you don't wanna put a lot of your most valuable assets on here. This is just something you wanna be able to transact with. And I'm just going to go ahead and click on install from Chrome store. Um, add to Chrome. See this little uh, warning pops up. You want to go ahead and click add extension. It's checking. Let me try to minimize myself so we can see everything. Um, just a couple of warnings. You're going to send your data. We'll go ahead and allow this to happen. Um, and then you're going to see right here, it says create new wallet. So we'll click on create new wallet. So these words that are just popped up, right? This is um, your secret key. Um, so typically, whenever you're, want, you're setting this up, right, you're going to want to do this in a very private location. You're going to want to do this somewhere where people are not gonna be able to see these words. And this is the reason why it's a hot wallet, right? Because when you set it up, this is being done on the internet, right? And these words, you know, push math, outer, aerobic, damp, these words you write down, and this is your private key. This is something that's very critical for people to understand. When you write these words down, if someone gets access to these words, they will be able to get access to your wallet. And so, I'm doing this for tutorial purposes. I'm not actually going to use this as a wallet, um, but I will send an NFT to this wallet. So the first person who accesses that will get an NFT, uh, kind of a surprise. Um, things I like to do, uh, I, I like to do things like that on my videos. So make sure you like, subscribe to this video because um, there'll be more things like this, just more little surprises for my subscribers. Um, try to keep it fun and interesting. But yeah, so you're gonna wanna write these down on a piece of paper. It gives you the option to copy it to a clipboard. I do not recommend you know, putting this on a Word document and stashing it away somewhere. I recommend writing it on a piece of paper because the more places um, where you have stored these, these words, right, the more um, attack vectors you create for yourself. So just for purposes of this video, we're just gonna take a quick little screenshot of this because I'm not really gonna be using this. Um, and you go ahead and click, you know, I've backed up these 24 words. Then it's gonna ask you to set a password, right? So in setting your password, um, this is something that whenever you log on in the future, right, you're not gonna always have to type in those 24 words to get access to your wallet you're just gonna to wanna to type in this password. It's almost like two layers of security, right? So those first 24 words are your private key. And this is your password. I know that this is like a different reframing of how you think about things um, compared to web two, right? Where you just have username and password. But in web three, you have private key and you have a password, right? So just gotta start thinking web three, private key, web three, private key. 
not your keys, not your crypto, not your keys, not your cheese, right? Okay, all these different things. Um, so we're going to set up a password. Um, the password for this is going to be, I'm just going to do something um, fun. I'm going to do uh, Eduardo with capital E, Lima with capital I, and then YouTube with a capital Y, and then we're going to do hashtag one, two, three, four. So that's the password. Eduardo with a capital E, Lima with a capital L, YouTube with a capital Y, hashtag one, two, three, four. And uh, let's get STX into your wallet, right? So it looks like it allows you um, quick and wake or a couple different ways to add stacks. STX is the fuel to the stacks blockchain, right? And the reason I've decided to really start focusing on stacks is um, I see it as a better version of Ethereum, short and sweet. Um, I won't get into all the details on that in this video. I'll have other videos where I talk about why I believe in stacks over Ethereum. I've been a long time Ethereum user. I think Ethereum is great, but I, um, I believe that stacks is kind of in the same place that Ethereum was back in 2018, right? Very early in its ecosystem life cycle. Um, and I think that it will beat Ethereum in the long run, but I could be wrong about that. This is not investment research or not investment advice. I'm just doing tutorial videos and I'm just a man on the internet. You should do your own research. Um, but yeah, I believe in the Stacks ecosystem. So I'm going to be making more videos on Stacks uh, going uh, forward in the future. If you're into that, make sure you subscribe. Um, but we're going to skip that part for now. Um, yeah, so it looks like... I'll kind of move myself over here. Let me move myself down a little bit. We're not going to add STX um, to this video. But you can see, um, you can send and receive stacks. Um, receive, you're gonna, when you click, you know, you'll be able to generate a QR code. People can uh, send you uh, stacks using your QR code, or you can send your address, right? So all stacks addresses start with this SP. Um, and what's interesting about stacks addresses is that they also correspond to a Bitcoin wallet address as well, right? So this address... Um, I, I believe will also, well, let me not say that, but um, the Stacks addresses do correspond to a Bitcoin wallet address as well. I can say that um, safely. Explore apps, buy NFTs. Um, let me just see, why is it not popping up as an extension now? Uh, what is this? Yeah, okay, so I'm going to have to pin it, right? You can see um, this will allow me to pin the Hyro extension. So in the future, now... The Stacks um, extension is there in uh, my sort of browser, if you will. Um, yeah, and I I'm going to say, let me think if there's anything else I really need to th show you guys. Look, I'm not going to show you how to buy STX, but I will have a link to my Coinbase um, and my Kraken and my Gemini, um, you know, referral links in the description of this video. If you guys do not have a Coinbase, Kraken, or Gemini account, please click on my referral link that helps me keep this channel alive. Um, you may get a little bit of something, but I probably get about $10 in Bitcoin or something like that for sending you that way. So please use that referral link. It will be a, a huge benefit to me, and I will just appreciate it very much. I don't um, have ads or anything on my videos, so keeps keeps me going. Um, but yeah, so with this extension, right, you can see here, um, you're able to, again, send and receive. And we don't have any activity as of right now. But I will be making a video in the future um, where we go over how to get a BNS domain name, right? A Bitcoin naming service domain name. So this is, you can almost think of it as like a username, right? That's more readable, associated with your public wallet address. I know that's kind of complicated sounding right now, but in the future video, I'll explain it in more detail. So I hope this video was useful for anyone who is new to crypto and wants to get involved in the Stacks ecosystem, maybe is a little nervous about setting up a wallet. I hope this video um, shows you 
how to do that and makes you a little bit more comfortable. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.